Hello, Hoyler 2012 here, and today I'm going to be some showing you something odd, but otherwise quite interesting. Let's take a look at the Color GB 22 in 1 for Game Boy or Game Boy Color or whatever you play Game Boy games in. Yes, basically, it's one of those multi carts. Although this one, this one, seemingly interesting. Yeah. Let's let's compare this to a um official Game Boy game. One that's actually from Nintendo. Right, as you can see the um you see, I'm not sure you can see it properly, but on the official cart the Nintendo Game Boy uh, the official font on the official on the unofficial one it isn't also the official one doesn't seem to be beveled so it seems to be um embossed. This one doesn't seem to be, and also the sticker seems to be um, in a different material from this one. Yeah, but otherwise they're the same. Also, I'm not sure you can see it, but the but the made in Japan patent pending is different font as well. Yes. Also, this also the fake car seems to be made from a vaguely different plastic. In fact, it kind of feels like a cheaper plastic. Yes. So yeah. Basically, we're going to be looking at this, this multi cart, because there seems to be twenty two games and apparently no repeats. Over there. Also, the sticker seems to be going away. What can we judge from here? Well, we got some pinball thing. We got that. We got the bomb jack. Um, we got the bomb jack and box art. This is very naughty. Something with cars. There's the box art to Yoshi, or Mario and Yoshi if you live in Europe. There's the box. There's Doctor Mario. I don't think that's the official box art. There's Super Mario World 7, apparently, which looks a bit like Mario Party 2, and Super Mario 4. Hopefully you know what Mario Super Mario 4 is. It's basically the hack of Crayon Sinchan 4 from Bandai. Anyway, so... And also Game USA Color for some reason. Anyway, so we're going to be looking at this. I'm going to be using the um, Game Boy Player to show this because um, it shows the um, best of the... Um, it shows the best way to play it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here we go. We're just gonna start up the um, Game Boy Player up now. Here we go, Nintendo GameCube. I'm just playing 60 hertz mode, of course. Even though it doesn't really make a difference. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Game Boy. And here's the menu. Here we go, we can pick Pokemon Crystal, Pokemon Green, Mario Land, Mario 4, Mario Land again, Dark Mario Yoshi, etc, etc, etc. We're going to be looking at the first po we're going to look at the first game in here. Pokemon Crystal. Right, here we go. Yeah, 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 typical stuff. There's Game Freak. Here, hi, ditto. Game Freak presents. There's Pokemon Monsters. As you can see, this is the Japanese version, or at least you think it's Japanese version. Although it's an English translated, ver it's a translated version of the Japanese version. You just see the change. <laughs> I like them. Um, you're gonna, you're gonna see the you're gonna see the um English in this. It's very bad, honestly. Let's just skip that. Let's just start. Are you a boy or a girl? There's an opportunity to pick boy or girl. <laughs> Not from Invader Zim, probably. Boy, obviously. Welcome! It's Elf's World. And already, it's bad. <laughs> right, it's Elf's World. True that. Please check the time. What time is it? AF, AF 10. Oh well, let's just say it's 3. What AF? 3 hidden time? Um, I don't know. Yes. How many minutes? Zero. What? 
zero M, zero meters, ah, three zero, three H zero, my bad. Sleep too late. Yep, it's great. Here you go, Professor Oak. Well, go to the Elf's world. Welcome. Everyone call me Elf Monster. They sure do. Elves here are called Monster. They existed everywhere. They play friendly and help each other. Live with people. I should turn it down because it's too loud. There we go. But we don't understand them entirely. There are many sec secrets inside this. Inside to know these riddles. They show. I do. An investigation for every day. You sure do. Please tell me what is your name. And we have picked the world's most stupid <laughs> names. Zai. As if anyone's gonna be called Zai. Yaizu. <laughs> Zuho. And Gixai. Let's just pick my name. New name. We're gonna be typing my own name. J. A. Okay. E. There we go. Yeah, okay. Jake! Do you get ready? Your story will start from now, at once. For the future, you will meet many trials and hardships, bitter and sweet, to explore the true the dreams. Let's go to the monster's world. Start. See you later. Okay, thanks. And here I am. Let's see. There's the PC. We won't be able to use that now. Here's the... Let's see the TV. A TV set. Well, I'm just... Oh, that was a bit weird. And a bit meta, if you think. Hello, mother. What stuff you have to say to me now? Ah, Jake. The adjoining Dr. Wu found you and want you to do something. Yes, remember it. The repaired elf. Gear is taken. I know it. Jake, get elf's gear. The elf gear is um, omitted xiuxi and will not be an independent coach without it. Yes, didn't write the week. Wrote it before. Using. What is it today? It's Monday. As Garfield would say, I hate Mondays. Okay. Yes. Remember how to use the phone? Yes, even though I probably don't. Insert the pin of QXZ, select the holy figure. Okay. <laughs> the holy figure, what is that? Is that the cross? Tel telephone number can be logged on automatically if make call. And you misspelled automatically if make Find it and log on. So simply. Very good. Okay, let's go. I don't want to be talking to them, I don't want to waste time. Let's go to Dr. Wu's place. Hi, Dr. Wu. Wu Siji says, Mr. Jake, I am waiting for you. I call you today for something to request you. Now I am making a new research into Elf. Wish you to cooperate. In fact, I am writing its data to publish in Academy and something to know for a long time. I think. Can you look after the elf? Grasped lately. For me? Okay. Mr. J. Thanks. This help. My bust did my business. If this research is published, we'll make more progress. Progress to uncover the fan of elf. Wait to see. <gasps> ah. It's so. I have a friend called Elf Grandfather. We found, he found a very strange thing. It's a big fine spreaded greatly. Now he sent a mail wrote, quote, his, it, This is true, certainly. We all care the matter, but I and my helper are busy for the research awfully. I feel shy. Do you see it for me? I sure do see it. The elf I want to breed is put into the box, or a ball, for Mr. Jake. The elf will become his companion. Select, please. I sure will select. Which one's this? Oh, it's a Cyndaquil. Do you change fired, fired, fired elf into a big wind of fire? No. Think slowly and decide. Oh, 
Uh, no, I don't want her elf little crocodile will do. No, it won't do. Think slowly and decide. Stop telling me to think slowly and decide. Hey, look, it's a chikorita. It says grass elf kaiju leader may like. Yes, please. I think it's the best. What is it? Je gain kiaok from Wu. <laughs> I sure did earn kiaok. Gain kiaok name for pet. No, I don't want. I don't want to name my kiaok. Uh, grandfather lived in front of Jai City and for light le leads here. Easy to understand. I tell you my telephone number before if you have something. Give me a ring. Give me a ring. Especially when the invisible rings from the blood rings. Jake, log on the telephone number of Wusiji Doctor. <coughs> yeah, I got. I love Wusiji Doctors, especially him. If yes, is injured, use the machine freely to cure. I will. Then Mr. Jake requests you. Okay. Oh. Mr. Jake, I give you this, for I trust you, believed you, will use it. Jake received drug. <laughs> <laughs> Presumably that's supposed to be medicine, and not those things. Jake, drug bag. <laughs> I'm not going to even just say the last part, because it's, it's of obvious reasons. A little matter will make use in the mess, for we are only two men to deal with it. Okay. What's this? Wusiji Monster Graduate School. It sure is a graduate school. R tw Route 29. Jai City Royal Town. Okay! <laughs> that is enough English for one day. Let's move on to the next game! Right, next game. Pokemon Green. It's another Pokemon game. It's gonna have bad English, isn't it? Also, whenever something is meant. Whenever something, somebody mentions them first gen Pokemon games, never mention this one for some reason. Okay, skip the intro. We all know how Pokemon is like. Ooh, I got missing though, for some reason. Anyway, like I said, um, whenever somebody mentions Pokemon games, whenever they mention the first generation, they never mention them. Um, they almost never mention Pokemon Green. It must be the black sheep of her family or something. Start! Another missing thing, though. It's our first meeting! Welcome to the world of Pocket Monster. My name is Outside. Outsider. I was called Dr. Pet. It's better than Dr. Princess. Dr. Pet was loved and esteemed by us all. Sure was. Another missing though. In this world, the, the, the live creatures called as call as pocket monsters live in every corner. The creature named Pet was treated as a pet to take part in the competition. Where's the monster pants? Right, we're gonna eat in the competition. And I'm doing the study of it, this pet. That is all. Another missing though. Now tell me your name. You're fine. Green. Tom. Ken. Well, at least these names make more better than them, um, or better than the um, names we have in the um, Pokemon Crystal. That's for certain. I'll call myself what I am. Jake. Okay, call it Jake. Okay. This is little boy is my grandson. Either you, Pally, partner, or y your opponent. Well, what's your name? I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna call him Jeff for some reason. Oh right! Now I remember it's called Jeff. He sure was called Jeff. Jake! Now star your now start your story. Dream and adventure. Go to the world of Pocket Monster. Go! Sure hope I don't see another missing no. What's this? Jake is operating a computer. Okay. It's time to go out for a walk. Okay. Mother! I need you. Mother, oh yes, boys should go to travel whenever he likes. Hmm, it is said in TV. Ah uh, yes, Dr. Outsider living in next door came to call you. He sure did come to call me. Right, who are you, little girl? I'm also fostering pet. If I were stronger, I also... Gi giant, giant space. I also can replace guard. Yeah, I wish I could replace my guard if I, if in PE or something. No, that's wrong. 
Must be the big one. There we are. Jeff, what? What is it, Jake? My grand, my grandpa outsider isn't in. If you want to meet him, he sure isn't. What is this? This is the monster ball pet that I is in. That that is in. It's the monster ball pet that is in. Okay. I'm also studying pet as an assistant of doctor. <clears throat> I'm also studying a pet. I was only wondering if you were assisting something as an assistant of doctor. And now the answer is nothing is answered. Ah, so we saw it. We won't do anything because Dr. Outshire is an authoritative person on pets. But many pet trainers still re respect Dr. Outshire. I always wonder if pets were stuck. There exists an analog to the illustrated handbook. Okay, but the pages are all blank. They don't look blank to me. Now I'm stuck. Yeah, 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 we got it. So basically, <laughs> there's more English in this. Or there's just as much English. Right. We'll be focusing on the next game now, which hopefully doesn't have any English in them. Alright, next game! It's Super Mario World 7! It was... Cr this game's actually interesting, because, um... If you know a game called Adventure Island 2... You know, f for the Game Boy, and it was... It was basically like one of the um, Adventure Island series by Hudson Soft. You realize that if you play, if you ever played Adventure Island 2 for a Game Boy, you'll realize that this game plays exactly the same because it's a hack. Apparently made in 1998. Here we go. Start. Continue or password. We're gonna start because we don't want to give any passwords away. Coastal Clash. Okay. And here we go. Item select. We don't have any items, so why bother asking us? So you have to pick up stuff like you do in Adventure Island. Eggs have items in them, of course, like a hammer. Are those supposed to be Goombas? Okay. Well, at least they look better than how they do in the Mario Brothers movie. Another Goomba. You can, you can never have too many Goombas. Die, stupid spider! Spiders. You don't, you don't have to be too close to them. Oh, I tripped over. That's great. Here you go. Oh no, I tripped over a rock! <laughs> yeah, hopefully you're familiar with this. Have you ever played um, Adventure Island? Any of the Adventure Island series? Bottomless Pit! If it was bottomless, I don't recognize any bottomless pits in real life. Destroy. This hammer does serve handy. Here we go. I earned the boomerang. Oh no, I died. Yes. You only have one. You only have one bit of health, and you must do it perfectly if you want to progress. Ah. Whatever. Well, this game is interesting, young. And um, if you want to know something, the game does. The game, this game was actually dumped year, many um, months ago by um, in some website I don't exactly remember. But um, yeah, I might give you a link to it if you want to play it so badly. Right, next game. Right, Super Mario 4. No, not Super Mario World. Here you go. Super Mario 4. Japanese text, I don't know what that means. Anyway. Basically, this is a hack of um. This is basically a hack of Crayon Sinchan 4 for the um, Game Boy. It was published and developed by Bandai, I believe. Yeah. Anyway, Digimon. But anyway, so there's Mo there's a Mario 64 Mario. Anyway, if you ever played Crayon Sinchan 4? Then you're probably familiar with this game again. Except 
You may not know, but this game is actually fiendishly difficult compared to the um, original game. Yeah. Collect the coins. Oh no. Yeah, sorry about this, it's just that instead of playing this on a while well, recording, I don't have a tripod yet. And if I ever do, it will be the coolest thing ever. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna jump cut there. Right, so here's the end of the first level, and I got behind the background for some reason. Here's the first boss. Wait for a second. It's a Koopa. So we don't get those enough. Oh no, I got hurt! Right now I can never, now I'll never forgive myself. Oh, is it? Right, I win. Right, so here's stage two. Which is actually harder than the, it's harder than the hardest level in the world. So it looks easy. But the hard the level design and the fact that there isn't any checkpoints the fact there isn't any checkpoints makes this level um, almost impossible to beat. Because um, I'm certain in the original game there were checkpoints. I mean there were whiteies that you had to go past in order to, to get, a path, get a checkpoint. Yeah. So that's why I'm not gonna be not gonna even bother finishing this game. Next game! Right, Super Mario Land. Surely you know how this works. Here we go. Hopefully you know how this works. It's familiar. Stuck. I'm sure you're all familiar with this. Surely this is one of your first Game Boy games. Unless you never had a Game Boy in your life. Yeah, I'm sure you know do this game works. Next game. Okay, the sixth game in the out of the 22, we have Mario Yoshi. Or Mario and Yoshi, that's how it makes more sense. Here we go, there's Yoshi and then baby Yoshi. Here we go, pick a game type. Level, you can pick a song. And here's the songs. And you put it off. Here we go. Hopefully you know what this game's like. You swap the plates. Uh-oh. Oh, two. Wowzy. Wowzer. Oh no. <sighs> yep, you know how this game works, surely. And if you don't, then. then sure. then I. Uh oh. You're an egg. Just a baby Yoshi. Not much of use. Why are there too many bloopers and too many boos? Oh, Mar Goomba. Oh well, those tops of the shells never really served anything anyway. <sighs> yeah. It's basically some sort of puzzle game, of some type. You swap the stuffs around. And you earn points. And you earn even bigger points by swapping the um, plates around. Not rocket science.
game over. I I failed. Best records. The best records being the ones from um Elvis. There we go. 135. <sighs> Next game. The last Mario game. I promise. Dr. Mario. Again, surely you are familiar with this game. One player. Oh, I start. Yo. Sleep. Medium. Fever. I want this one. Please. You know, I know how you work. This is fine. This is not rocket science. Unless you never played this game before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's get all the viruses. Whoopee. There we go, I beat the first level and I'm automatically master of the universe. Right. I'm sure you know how this works. NEXT! Here's an interesting game. Poke Mission 97! Dedicated to Leif Grenold. Oh man. Right, load. Or I have to press start, don't I? Yes, I do. Sounds medieval y. Or something. Reminds me of Middle Earth. Okay. Start a new game? Or continued from last save? Apparently. The last save. I don't want to lose the last save. So I'm gonna go pick level 11. Oh, 11 is Mrs. Doyle's. Is, um, uh oh. Ouch. What the heck? Ow, what the heck? <laughs> Let's try again. Oh, I see! I have to shoot the um, other player. I understand. Uh oh, avoid and avoid the balls in the process. Uh oh. Ow. Hey, oh. That isn't working. Huh, missed. Huh. Oh, I have to kill myself. Game over. Man, that wasn't very good. That always sucked very badly. Next! Next game, Battle City. Many people with an NES must have played this game. And if not, they probably don't have an NES. Here we go. Battle City. From, no from Namco and Nova. Probably Supernova. Or Mirror Nova from Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. Anyway! Battle City, one player only or versus mode. We want to play one player only because we don't have friends around at the moment. Stage one. But basically, the point of this is you have to like shoot the other opponents. Is, is uh oh, and avoid getting hit. Ha! You died. You're dead. You're dead meat. Ha ha. This is probably a funner game. This is probably a fun game. At least it's better than Pokemon Mission 97. Cha cha. Oh, star. I got, I got, I got that. I'll pick that up as soon as. Is that a good sign? I'm not sure. I'm not sure that did actually. Yeah! Bite my. Eat my dust! You. You, um. It's like a dust eating machine. Oh look, it's the Phoenix Games logo, which we can't obtain. Shoot. Obliberate! I missed me. I blocked ya. Oh no! Let's try again. Haha. <laughs> <coughs> oh no, we need a white screen. Oh. 
You're dead. Man, is this game fun or what? I just killed him and he doesn't even appear here. I'm succeeding actually. I earned a grenade! That's a good sign. Eight. This. There we are, I've just made my own path. Yay. Yeah, I win! Zero, zero. Nobody won. Eighteen. Eighteen points, presumably. Yes. Or something? I don't know. I'm not going to be bothered playing the next levels. I enjoyed it. This is probably my, one of my favorite games ever now. Next. Now we play Atari's Asteroids. Published by Accolade. And, and people hate it already. Because they never have opinions anymore. And they, and they publish Bubsy. Anyway, Asteroids. Now you think that Atari Corp. Yes. Licensed by Nintendo. Yes, we know who they are. Code Monkeys. Man, they develop many games like Simpsons Skateboarding and Shrek Treasure Hunt. And, um, Goofy's. Funhouse and many other games, probably many from Phoenix because they seem to like games. Developers of Code Monkeys, I think we know who they are. There we go. Basically, surely you know who this, how this game works. You shoot the um, you shoot B button shoots, and the A button um teleports. Yeah. This is not. This is not a hard way. This is not hard at all. Although this doesn't run that fast though. Also, it makes booping noises. Stop making booping noises. Yeah. Stop! Yeah, I win. Yeah, I win. Now I'm automatically master of the universe. Right, next game. Okay, the next game, we're only halfway through and we have our next game to play. Bomb Jack! It's like Samurai Jack, only he throws bombs and he's not a samurai. Game Boy. It's, made, it's published by Infograms and Tecmo. It's by Infograms and Tecmo! Not from regular show. Here we go, start game and game setup. Let's see the game setup first. Speed, no one level up, music off. I like the first, yeah, I never knew what the music was like. There we go. I'm so pleased. That's just... It may, it may know this. Basically, you collect all the bombs. And you tend to jump. Also, this game has very good music. And I just hit a phoenix there. Whatever that was supposed to be. Is that Phoenix? Or is that. Oh, you can press the A button. You can press the A button repeatedly. Uh oh. Uh oh. I have to collect the bombs before they all disappear. B! What does that do? Yeah, I win. I'm not gonna bother showing you the rest of the levels. Right. It's a good game, I guess. N Twelfth game. Deadly in Opus. Game Boy. Yes, yeah, it's from Victoria I Incorporated. This is my Nintendo. A button. Oh, this is how you play. I just shouldn't press the A button and press start instead. Welcome, wait, 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 A button just skips it, I was expecting, that walk animation. Enter, hopefully you're familiar, hopefully you know this, you basically you fit the shapes, hopefully you fit the shapes inside the boxes.
Level 1 seems to be easiest, of course, like all games. Good! So good. Oh, pressing A will just show you the things. I'll just collect them. Oh, the password this is King! The King of Town from Homestar Runner. I got a new place and now Caesar. Alright, we're going to the next level, which seems, which seems to be hard. Yes, because this game seems to be one of the hardest games ever. <sighs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna give up and say it's very hard. I'm certain I beat this level before. Oh, so you can't pause. I'm pressing start and it can't pause. Man, is this game tedious. Um, anyway. I'm just gonna say that this game is very hard. Yes. Next game. The 13th game, Teresira. Ter sorry, Teresira. Sorry. N don't, not to be confused with Mother Teresa. I think she was Irish. Game Boy. Game Tech. I think we've heard of them. Oh yeah, we've heard of this game. Oh, it's developed by Eurocom. I didn't notice. I didn't never notice. It was developed by Eurocom Entertainment Software. Anyway, one mosaic. Oh, you have a cursor thing. Let's try the square. And beginner. Because it seems to be easiest. Yeah. The ones you can't... You can't get the ones that have already been... Um, Let's get a squares and a circle combination. You can't get the ones that have been already been them. Um, you can't get the ones that have already been them um, covered. Now this game's not too bad actually. Oh, we made a very extremely embossed picture. Hang on, can we put... No, we can't. Oh, well. You can put this on any empty space. Oh, you put a thing over. Whoopie, I'm having so much. This is so much fun. So much fun. So much fun. That's one. There's no any more. Nope. Apparently I've ruined that. Oh, no, I haven't. Okay. I think that's all of them. <sighs> yeah. I know. Fun game, but... Yeah. It's a decent game, Eurocom. Yeah. Anyway, next one. Right, the next game is Cool Ball. As opposed to Lame Ball. Yeah, he didn't have any friends. It would probably oh, it's from Infograms again. Oh, we like we sure like Infograms. And Takara, who also worked on um, Penny Racers, which was published by THQ. Anyway, start game. It's an explicably in the different form. Basically, you collect stuff to progress to the next level. And the white platforms seem to disappear once you stand on top of them. Which I guess makes sense. Oh, crap. I didn't, I didn't, I forgot, no. Sorry, I didn't realize. Again, from Infograms, this is also very awesome music. Come on, turn left. There we go. Level one. 
Oh, well, just a throw in one hit. That's great. Stop making noises. Well, there's that ruined then. Right. This is actually a pretty fun game. Yeah. Next game. We're nearly done. We only have like... I don't know, nearly all of them. We're gonna flip all next. It's that game about where you shoot cu cubes. Or squares, even. Squares. Shoot. Hopefully you're familiar. This game's pretty good. I don't, I don't understand why I have to go so lowly. Let's go! Let's just destroy the blocks which no let's destroy blocks like no blocks have never been destroyed before. Hooray. And you always have some you always have some left over. So yeah. Surely you are familiar with this game again? Everyone's familiar with it. With these games. Oh, different music. Surely you are familiar with this game again? Right. Right, let's do this. It's Spot. Not from the, not that children's character. We're talking about this, the old 7-Up mascot. Not, not cool Spot. This one's Spot. It's basically the... Uh, m Old mascot to the um Seven Up, the Forum, freaking Fido Dido. A software creation made this. I I know who they are. Here we go. You can pick options. What's the options? Man and Computer One. It makes that noise every time you computer. Oh, I'm, I want to be the man. I'm a man. The game name, please. And if you, if you don't know what this is, it's basically a fellow. You must have the most pieces in order to win. Oh no! This guy seems to be winning. Computer number one is winning. How I what? Oh, oh, I win. I'm succeeding. I can't go anywhere. Oh well, I seem to have more than him now. Oh, you idiot! Hooray. I don't have more than him. Crap. Hooray. I have more than him now. No. Like I said, it's Othello. <sighs> Never mind, I'm just gonna lie and win anyway. I'm just gonna uh, win anyway. Oh, music's gonna be playing in the pause back. Oh, no. It plays when you don't move. Let's listen to music. Awesome. Anyway, next game.
Probably. We're going to play me favourite game, Shanghai. Not Shanghai, that SpongeBob episode. I wish it was Shanghai. There you go. Oh, it's from Activision. That's a good sign. Oh, it's from Hal Lab again. That's also a good sign. It's Chinese. It's from China. It's probably not. Oh, it's Mahjong. Would they use tiles instead? I'm wondering what use tiles. I thought they were cards for. I thought they were very thick cards for a second. Man, I'm horrible at. I'm horrible at the um. Mahjong. I don't even know what to do. Do you take their first card? To be honest with you, I don't know how to play Mahjong. <laughs> if anyone knows how to play Mahjong, please tell someone else, because I don't know. Can you take them on the pieces? No, we can't. That's great. Next game. Since I hunt, play Mahjong. Okay, the 18 gate. We only have four left, and it's He Heinko Alien. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm not sure or care. Yo, original concept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pencil to hyperware. I never heard of them. And there's. I'm gonna pick new or old. We'll be seeing new first. Just see if it's any different, even though I never really played the arcade game myself. If it, hang on, is it an arcade game anyway? We'll say something, it has awesome music. Oh, there's a world you keep holes. Let's see. And then you trap yourself. If, you, if you're very stupid, you might trap it. Maybe I'll not fall down the holes. Ha! He fell down! Ha ha! Oh, he succeeded in leaving. Ha ha. Oh, I see! Yeah. I understand. I see. Alright. Oh! There's a chance. Oh no, an alien got me. And he ate me up! How dare he? Oh well. You know, the music in the new one is it's pretty good. Let's play the old one and see if it's any different. And by different, actually meant um, the same. There we go. It actually looks like an Atari game. Maybe that's what it was. I have no idea. Uh-oh. Well, you move very blocky. And the aliens seem to move faster. Craigie. It takes short... No. Probably these traps will work, and if they don't work, they won't use to I have. Uh oh. Oh no, he ate me again. I hate you. Also, why do I have to start in another area? Haha! <laughs> You're trapped! Nobody's ever gonna fall down the hole, is there? Oh, you can't fall down your own holes. I see. No, this isn't very interesting. Close. You know, 
And I don't have to bother clearing out the other alien. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna kill myself intentionally. Oh. Whatever. Next game, I guess. The next game we have is Centipede. Which presumably is supposed to be Atari's Centipede. Right. Accolade again. And maybe Code Monkeys again? Who knows? Accolade. People are gonna hate this game again. Except from Atari, actually. Centipede. I'm pretty sure Accolade's an Atari company. Yeah, it must be. Yep, the code monkeys again. I was right. And apparently people here's people from Code Monkeys presumably Mark, Colin, Elliot, and people that can read because they're going too fast. No there's credits in this one. <coughs> Wait, there wasn't much wasn't anything for accolade or Atari or anything? Well, that's a bit weird. Right. There we go, we shoot. We shoot. We destroy s What the hell? Okay, that was weird. Let's, uh, let's try not to kill myself again. Damn it. Darn it. Sh stop killing myself, I'm sucking at this. There we go. The spider's gone. Now destroy the centipede. That's the closest I can get, apparently. Sorry, stupid spider. Just keep pressing A. There we go, that was easy. There we go, I killed him. That was easy. They need to destroy the spider. Oh, I thought that was a pickup, but no it wasn't. You apparently had to shoot it. Way to suck. Okay, I have to enter my name now. I enter my name again. I already did that twice today. Oh no, now I regret putting this. Yes, Jake Eef. That's my new... Yeah, Jake Eef. Now it's gonna stay there forever. Oh no, I should hope not. Anyway, next game. Right, so next game. We're nearly done. Now we're gonna be playing Othello. The official Othello. Which would seem to be pointless, because we already had a spot version of Othello. Listen from Suzuka Original. Well, it's the Nintendo's the one. And the black player sounds. Oh, nice. I job me. I should have myself. Again, we haven't had enough of those. Yes, it should be me. There we go. Me versus the cute girl. Surely you know how this works. Oh, yeah, I'm the black put. No. Now thinking. Right. I'm sure I'm the black one. This is the board.
This is how it was like. There we go. First select. How's it? Is that a good sound? Draw game. What the? Replay. That wasn't right. What the? Oh great! <laughs> now I just ruined that. Now, great. And my poor inspirations of Othello, Greg. Next game, I guess. Okay. The second to last game is Cubillion. Not to be confused with Cubert, but okay. Game Boy. It's this game. 1989 Sita, who also made that, um. I think that. I think they were the company who made one of the first N64 games, but but they wasn't that much known. Game A. And game number one. Honestly, I don't know much about this game, to be honest with you. So, yeah. To do. Do you push the one over the two? To be honest with you, I don't know. You can't push the two, that's for certain. I'm stuck. So I don't know much about this game, to be honest with you. Lasties is Pipe Dream. You're not going to do developer Pipe Dream Interactive Game Boy again, but it's going to be the last time. I'm honest. BPS. It's like PBS when they swap the letters of B, B, B and the P around. Here you go. It. Oh look, look at the look at the high scores. I didn't realize this until I saw it for it's from the um people who made it. One player. Basically it's a puzzle game, we have to like see how long you can um basically it's a puzzle game in which you can see how long you can you can um Yeah. Surely Oh crap! Some it's starting already. I didn't realize. Oh crap! There we go. That's better. For sound. Basically, you have to like see how long your thing can be. Right. I think that's a good sign because it means you got double points or something. How long can I make it? Nobody really knows. And especially nobody really cares either. There we go, that's how long it's gonna be. Do you wanna watch this? And hear the sound? Dun 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 I bet you can hear anybody noise. I got another sound. That's a good sign. Everyone's getting annoyed. 
Oh, there we go. Something good. That's not a good sign, because that means you have to finish it off. Or not, unless you don't want to. Because I think I'm just about done. Dun 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 Yay, I win! Right. Man, is this a good game? Alright, we're going to be stopping here now. And we're going to be checking out the final verdict. Back in a sec. So what do I think of this multi-card type of thing? Well, it's pretty cool if you, I guess. I got this from my cousins many, many years ago, actually. Yeah, it's a pretty cool thing. It's pretty odd, if you, to be honest with you. Especially with the Pokemon games. I mean, what the heck? They sound... They have very bad English. They can't even be translated properly. I don't understand why they couldn't get the um, English ROMs for them. I have absolutely no idea. They had to get the Japanese version, the one where they don't even have any good English in them. In even offensive things. Yeah. <coughs> Basically, this multi card's a bit mixed. Some of the games were good, some of the games were not good, some of the games were terrible, some of them were... I didn't figure... I didn't know what to do, etc. <sighs> Overall, I'll probably get this game 7 out of 10 or something. Yes. But that's the closest I'm going to give it. So, yeah. This is World of Trade 12 signing out.